Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've seen the concept of expression transformation and an example of it too. Now let's take a look at some of the expression transformations and its help files where we can how and how we can use it for different functions. So let's connect to the repository of the designer using the username administrator and the password oracle. Open the training folder. All right, now, this is the mapping that we earlier created, where we transfer data from the employees table to the employee salary table and have an expression transformation in between. So let's open the expression transformation and see what's happening here. We created three new, new port, ports. The first one was full name. In this port, we were concatenating the first, let's open this, we're concatenating the first and the last name with the space in between them and copying it to the full name column ahead. Then there was a variable port where we calculated the annual salary and multiplied salary port column by 12. And in this uh, total salary port, we were taking in account the commission as well. We multiplied the uh, very annual salary by the commission percentage. So let's see what are the functions we have in the expression transformation. Let's click on the all functions and we have abort and abs add to date. Now what will happen if we want to know what these functions do or what their input is or what their output will be. So when we click on any of the functions we can see that for example if we connect, click on the to date function we can see over here that what are the inputs for it and what it do it what it does it converts character of character data type to a value of date data type using the format specified by fmt now if we need to get more details for if, for of it we go to the help menu we click on help and in the search tab we write the function's name for instance to underscore date over here you can see that we have the two date functions page and it gives you a complete detail of the function its definition its description its syntax its arguments its return value even its examples so if you scroll down we can see over here that we have its examples over here too similarly if you want to get information about some other functions as well we can do that as well so let's close this, scroll down and for example this is null. So it returns true if expression is null. So if we click on the help menu and we type in is null over here. So this page tells you that it runs, returns whether a value is null. So and it gives you an example as well. So this is a really helpful thing in Informatica where you can get information for example this is another function the IIF function it is the if condition which in other languages is used so the help pages are really helpful for example another function the length function it returns the length of a character expression so if you type length over here scroll down to see yeah we have the length function over here double click on it and you can see that it returns a number of characters in a string including the trailing blanks so now we know that close this and yeah so now we know that the help menu of the expression transformation is really helpful as we can get information about any kind of uh, function that we may want to use and there are lots of functions, um, abort, for example, the abort function, which causes a fatal error to be triggered. We'll be discussing this uh, function as well as the error function in our coming videos. So do stay tuned because we'll be using the help menu as well as lots of other functions for our expression transformation. And we'll you get to know the actual power of Informatica and its transformation and the mapping designer over here. So do stay with us and till then, thank you so much, take care and bye bye.